Welcome to Def Jam. It's going to be a little rough this year because the NAACP banned the word. I wanted to do this because I think that uh, black comedy is at a kind of crossroads. I think that it's funny that we're kind of vilified for the coarsening of this country as if <laughs> as if we did it all. We get a black president. Y'all get ready for questions at the White House you ain't never heard before. Mr. President, Air Force One is your plane, not your shoes. We have a host who's very sensitized to the plight of the people. Not only is he extremely funny, but he also can speak to all the constituency. How you doing, man? How long you been out? I haven't been as excited about working with comedians since I did the Kings of Comedy. I think these comedians seem to be as passionate about the craft as we do. People keep saying to me that my accent is cute. I don't want to be cute. I want to be ghetto. <laughs> There's a very vibrant point of view that seems to emanate this year. The difference is that we have a lot more new comics who are kind of doing this for the first time on a national scale. If somebody dies in front of you, like, in front of you, like, whatever the hell they say, you'll remember that for the rest of your life. I cannot wait for that day for me. I'm about to die and everybody's surrounded around me, like, trying to hear what the hell I'm going to say last. I left $10,000 under the... This new generation, we're the most advanced, high-tech, iPod, internet, YouTube, MySpace. It takes a lot to make them laugh, and I think this young generation knows what to hit on to make this younger, hip audience laugh. Ah, 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 ah. You are not a gangster if you talk on the phone like this. Hello? <laughs> I took his wallet, <laughs> shoes, everything. Basically, we have to be a little bit more random, a little more peculiar. I like immigrants. Immigrants inspire me, man. They get here, they be so happy. They look up at the buildings like, wow, it's beautiful. And we go, you like it? Good. You gonna clean the bathrooms. <laughs> I think comedy's becoming more real, you know? It's post 9-11. A lot of shit's been happening in the world. You know, people are like, eh. So stuff has to sink down deeper. When I was a kid, I thought a racist was just a very fast person. That was awesome. You told me a racist. I'm like, hey, good luck. Race is not that big an issue. I think the generation that's coming up has worked so hard to get past that, and we're doing so well now that we can laugh at it. I think white people that like black people, honestly, they should get some sort of wristband or hand stamp or something. You coming out to your car after the show, two brothers jump out, give me your money, white boy. Whoa, ah, ah, ah. I think the Def Jam trademark is truth. Every comic that steps on that Def Jam stage is doing the truest form of comedy based on their own experiences. We're literally unapologetic in our view of the world. And, I, and I'm very proud of these cats for, for holding that through line. D.L. Hughley hosts an all-new season of Russell Simmons' Def Comedy Jam. Premier Sunday, January 6th.